welcome back to my channel. Thank you so very much for being here. Thank you for clicking on today's video. It's been a couple of months since I've done just like a all bookish vlog and I'm so excited to do that again today. So I have a few excited bookish things planned. I have a current read to talk to you guys about. Also do like a reading vlog, bring you guys along while I hopefully finish this book. I'm almost done. Why am I holding it like that? I am almost done with this book, so hopefully I can finish it today. And then I also just finished Divine Rivals last night, and I just have so many things to talk to you guys about with this book. Such a lovely experience, so I'm very excited to talk to you guys about my last read. And I also have a Target haul to show you guys. I love watching hauls, so hopefully you do too. And also, I'm so freaking excited to put up my floating shelves on my wall here. My walls are blank here, so I'm so excited to like fill up the space and also use my books as like decor. And I think it's just going to be so freaking cute, so I'm also excited to do that today. Let's get right into the video. I think the first thing I want to show you guys is the stuff that I got from Target. First things first, I'm going to show you guys the clothes that I've got. Look at the shirt that I got yesterday, you guys. <laughs> I literally got a Twilight shirt. Oh my goodness. Can you see it? How freaking funny is this? I love it. I love Twilight. I didn't love the books, but I love the movies. I also got my hands on these cute pair of flared leggings. I have two pairs in black and i love them so much so these are just like an essential piece in your wardrobe and also i feel like the green is just fun so not just having black ones i feel like green will be fun to add some color and then speaking of color i got this cute freaking pink shirt look at this i'm a little intimidated on how it's going to fit because it's pretty low I hope it doesn't just like completely expose my biddies. I don't think so. I love that it's long sleeve. I love like the ribbed texture, ribbed, ribbed, ribbed texture or ribbed pattern. And it's also soft. So very cute. I also have just been loving pink. I've been loving pink. So when, when I see pink clothes, I like gravitates towards it and I'm like wanting to add more to my wardrobe. So that's for the clothes that i got hmm i think the next things i want to show you guys is like the miscellaneous stuff i got these cutesy little pots of fake plants anything miniature i gravitate towards because i'm like oh my god i could put that on my bookshelf when i saw how they were miniature in a dollar i was like okay 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 you don't gotta twist my arm i'll do it these are gonna be so freaking cute to have on my bookshelf like not all year round, but for like spring and summer. So freaking cute. Then to like the beauty section. I'm so freaking excited for this. Even though I'm in a book buying band, I have been buying makeup as like a way to like still buy myself something. But I'm also like catching on to the fact that I'm doing that and not letting myself become too consumed by it because then i'm gonna have to put myself on a makeup buying band and it's just fun i'm a girl okay i want to buy 30 different types of lip glosses um but either way this is we're not talking about how this is a problem we're talking about how this is fun and i'm showing you guys what i'm getting okay the first things that i got are these tree hut vanilla this is a like body butter and vanilla moisturizing shave oil mm -mm -mm. It literally smells like butter, and I don't know if that's a good thing, but for me, I love the smell. Mmm, it smells so freaking good. So I'm very excited to try these. Now to what I think is probably the most exciting part. It's the makeup. I have just been having so much fun buying and finding new lip glosses. So currently, I am using the Yummy uh, CoverGirl lip gloss. I love it. So I wanted to get my hands on a different shade. It's creamy. It's smooth. It lasts a long time. It smells good. Mm, it smells like sweet candy. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of a scent from my childhood. And I don't know what it is, but I love it. Even to like the applicator, I freaking love it. Then I also have been seeing these e.l.f 
lip oil glosses all over TikTok and people have just been like raving over it. And if someone talks about adoring a lip gloss, it, it makes me just want to buy it. I tried it for the first time yesterday. It gives off this like beautiful tint on the lips. It's smooth, it glides well. It has a mint like scent to it, I was gonna say flavor. When I went to Target yesterday in the morning, they were all sold out of the pink quartz. And then when I went to Walmart last night with my boyfriend to just get a few groceries, I don't know what happened, but I was pulled to the beauty section. I don't know how it happened and I somehow some way ended up having this in my hands. It was the bizarrest thing. They are definitely going to become my new favorite ones. Then I got my hands on Elf's Camo Liquid Blush. I literally got two of these. Should I go get you the other one? I also got this one. This one is definitely like more hot pink, more bright. This one is a little more subtle pink. I actually haven't tried these yet but i have been hearing amazing things about these i hear that they are like a dupe for the rare beauty blush i'm very excited to try these i also got my hands on a new blush this one it literally doesn't even say the shade all i'm seeing is it just it, it just says blush me don't know me don't know but this was literally only three dollars and when i saw that i was like girl you can't go wrong with an elf blush so freaking cute and then to the last thing that i got from target is the cream glide lip liners from elf this one is in shade truth or dare i have never used a lip liner before but people on TikTok have been raving about these, saying that they glide so easily, they're creamy, just good quality, and only two freaking dollars. Aww, I love being a girl and just talk about makeup. Like, I have just been having the best time just buying makeup. And it honestly brings something fun to look forward to every day when I get ready or when I'm wearing makeup. I really hope you enjoyed seeing all the things that I got from Target. If you've recently bought yourself some things, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know. I, I love buying myself things. It's so much freaking fun. So now to my review on Divine Rivals. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. If you saw my Valentine's vlog, you would have heard me say in that video that I was currently making a reading vlog for this book. But I ended up scratching the entire reading vlog. I, it just didn't end up working out and sometimes that's just how it goes. But I still wanted to talk to you about this book and give you guys my review and thoughts and opinions. So I thought why not, since I literally finished it last night and it's fresh in my mind, talk to you guys about this book. In the new year, I wanted to start to work out more, start to cook more, and I have also just been working more. So it was really hard for me to have time to read. And to be honest, it took me a really long time to finish this book. I think it took me almost like a month and a half, which is a really, really long time. And unfortunately, it that's just how it was. And that's partly why I ended up just scratching the entire reading vlog because it just became really messy how long it was taking me. Even though it took me over a month to read, I still had such an amazing experience with this book. I really do wish though that I had like a dedicated weekend of absolutely nothing to just read this book because I just know that I would have like it would have heightened or just like made my experience that much more better. I was really intimidated with starting fantasy, but since I see just how popular romanticy is in the book community, I knew that I wanted to give it a shot this year. And I'm so freaking happy that I did. And when I tell you I'm a teensy wincy bit scared for my just like fluffy romance books because since I've read love like this, I don't think romance or I don't think rom-coms are gonna hit the same way and it sounds so freaking sad. I have never read such a deep love story. Romanticy truly doesn't matter and I'm sure you probably heard this already that romanticy just hits different from a romance book and it is so true. There's more depth 
and emotion and i feel like the love is real i don't know how to explain it but i feel like the love in this book is just so much more stronger than any love that i've read before and rebecca ross really did such an amazing job writing this book i would definitely give this book a five stars this was incredible the magic in this book the talk of gods the war was insane and it has truly changed my entire opinion on romanticy and it just makes me want to read more marisol addy the characters in the book were so amazing and roman <laughs> roman wow i highly recommend reading this book if you haven't picked it up definitely do definitely search up trigger warnings and i'm very happy that i read this book so now to the reading vlog portion of today's video i'm currently reading the do-over by lynn painter before i start reading i want to talk about a comment that i just got this is from abby Abby, if you're watching this, thank you so much for watching my videos. I notice that you comment on mine pretty frequently and I appreciate it more than you know. As someone who's a small like YouTuber, getting a comment really means the world to me and I'm starting to like, I recognize your profile now and it just makes me so happy because I feel like I'm creating a community slowly but surely. But anyways, I just wanted to say thank you for watching and like just like supporting my channel. It really means the world to me. I just uploaded a video where I do the TBR jar prompts picks my reads and in that video I talk a lot about how I'm a slow reader and she commented on my video saying not me having read 21 books and five novellas last month and yes I go to school that is insane to me I think that is so incredible and i am so jealous i wish that i could read that fast and so then it had me think i have an idea of how much i can read in an hour but i wanted to time myself and see i think i read 20 to 25 pages in an hour let's start the timer let's see how many pages i can read in one hour just finished the book how freaking cute so i started the timer when i was at 236 and then when the hour ended i was at 272 so when i did the math that was 36 pages <laughs> you know what not to like make myself feel even worse let's search up how many pages can the average person read in a hour? I'm gonna guess 80. Hmm. While a slow reader will only get through 30 pages per hour, the average person can read around 40 pages an hour. Oh, I'm average? Statistics show that quick readers can even go through 50 or 60 pages in one hour. Oh. Never mind. So I'm right in the middle. I'm 36. So I'm right in the middle of a slow and um, average reader. I'm sure you're probably curious as what my review is to this book. Tell me why I enjoyed this book so freaking much. I really enjoyed it. And at the very end, it had such a beautiful, cool moment. And I loved it. I honestly loved the romance this just goes on to my list of YA books that I enjoyed I sorry if you can hear the cats eating now I loved the romance that was in this book to be honest I think it was done really well I love Lynn Painter's writing YA is one of my favorites. It's just so easy and simple for me to read and to consume. Also, I wonder if it's because of YA I was able to read a little bit more. That's probably...
something that probably adds to it. If you don't know anything about this book, our main character is living in a loop where every single day she wakes up and it's Valentine's Day and she's having to figure out why it's happening and she's just like this average girl with her own problems and insecurities and life problems trying to like figure out why this is happening and I heard someone say that they thought it was repetitive and I did not think it was repetitive one single bit and I feel like they did a good job changing it up speeding up the process as well so you don't get so annoyed of the little task that she was doing every single day i would probably rate this a 4.5 i really enjoyed it and i'm happy that i did because i was afraid that after reading romanticy i wasn't gonna be into these type of books and i am it made me happy it made me feel good it was a lovely experience and i'm so happy that i finished it yay now I can go put it in my Goodreads and feel a little bit of happiness. I just remembered that I want to show you guys my physical TBR that I put in my notes where you can see every single book that I own and haven't read. Um, we're currently at 142. It was really funny because I took off Divine Rivals, so I was at 141. And then I remembered I got a book from the mini libraries and then I had to go back to 142. It's a wonderful problem having all these books on my physical TBR. We're going to take it off the list. Oh! Tomb Sweeping. Okay. Look at that! One book closer to finishing my physical TBR. 141 more. This is a wonderful, lovely problem. It is time to put up these. I've been calling them like floating bookshelves, but they're multi-purpose things. They can be used for, you know, whatever would fit. I found these on Amazon, if you're curious, and I 100% got this idea from Alexa Ray. She had these in her room, and I thought they were freaking gorgeous, and I thought it was genius to use your books as, like, decor on your wall. So, I got this blank wall here, and I got my puppy Chula right here, who's gonna help me. I'm so excited. It's gonna look so cute. Check it out, you guys. Wow. All credits to Jaden. They look so freaking good. I'm so happy with them. Wow. Look at that. Oh my god. Any earthquake? Luckily, we don't live somewhere where there's earthquakes. I literally thought it was falling. Yeah, that would be better for that one. <laughs> look at that. How cute. I feel like they just go together. That's Aww. pretty cool. That looks so freaking cool. I feel like they don't go together because it's like dark, colorful dark. Okay, I feel like this is one of those things where I'm gonna mess around with for a couple of days. Like if it's like a bookshelf to see how I want to do it. And then I feel like as time goes on and I get more special editions, I'll definitely be putting them there. I think in a couple of days, then I'll like update you guys if anything has changed or at least just like wait a couple of days for, to let it sit and just like marinate. But so far, I think it looks so beautiful. So here is the final look. I think the little plants on there are perfect. Look at how freaking adorable. 
Oh my goodness, I love it. Now this just is another reason why I need to find other miniature things so that I can add them here because how adorable is this? I love it. That is it for today's video. I had so much fun bringing us along for my day. Thank you so very much for watching. I had so much fun bringing us along while I set this up, brought you guys along while I finished the do-over. I love making these vlogs and I hope to see you guys very, very soon in another one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.